Well everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the Samsung Galaxy A55 and see how it compares against the Nothing Phone 2A and see which particular phone is a better one for you. Now I will definitely tell you between both these devices, there's a lot of good capable devices between both of these. They're both like roughly around the same price in the on Amazon at least. So if you want to pick up either one of these phones on Amazon or some other links I'd find, links are down in the description. You can get them from there and you can also support the channel at the exact same time. Now the first thing I'll definitely tell you is we're comparing a Samsung you know, phone, which is basically, you know, Samsung has a whole you know, history of different phones and devices and stuff against the nothing phone company, which doesn't have have too much of a history so keep that in mind but i will still tell you there's still a lot of good capability and a lot of good stuff to love about both these devices now with the nothing phone 2a which came out you know this year on the front of this phone it has a 6.7 inch amoled display and it's overall like a pretty decent panel it's a 120 hertz panel 1100 it's a brightness or 1300 nits at its max and it's a good panel it's 1080p and there's not really that much to hate on here i mean it's a panel that you'd normally expect and that's something I like a lot about these types of phones. I do feel like if I'm getting a phone like the Nothing Phone, this thing holds up very, very well from that side. And that is something I like a lot about these types of devices. That I can go and buy a phone like the Nothing Phone that's fairly cheap. And it's not going to be costing me an arm and a leg. And it's going to be a very, very good phone for the most part, at least from the exterior. Now on the front of the Samsung Galaxy A55, we are getting a 6.6 inch Super AMOLED display. So it's a little bit of a different technology. On top of that, it's still 1080p and it's 1000 nits of brightness. So this is actually a pretty nice thing going on for the Samsung Galaxy A55, I would say. The thing you're going to have to keep in mind here, though, is that with a phone like the A55, it is probably going to be the better one in some ways than the Nothing Phone 2A. With the Phone 2A, the panel itself is good and everything, and although it does get brighter, I think the technology of the Galaxy 55 might be better for some people, and that is something that I actually like a lot about both these devices from that particular side. So, I will tell you with the exterior of both these phones, they're both really great and there's not much to hate on, but I would probably tell you with the Galaxy 55, the front panel might be a little bit better for some people than the Galaxy, you know, than the Nothing Phone 2A. They're both giving you USB Type-C ports on the bottom. Interestingly enough though, the Galaxy 55 is giving you expandable storage, so it is giving you a micro SD card slot, which is a very nice thing to have. The Nothing Phone 2A isn't really giving us that type of capability, but it's still not the biggest deal in the world. It is still very nice that we have that type of capability inside of the Galaxy 55 because expandable storage is like one of my most favorite things ever, and I love having phones that basically give me that type of capability. So that in itself, without a doubt, is a very nice thing going on for that particular phone too. On the backside, you're also getting a few things. So for one, you're basically getting a plastic back on the back of the Nothing Phone 2A. With a Galaxy 55, you're essentially getting this glass back. So this is another interesting thing going on here too. Although you're getting a dual camera setup on the Phone 2A and a triple camera setup on the Galaxy 55, there's not insane differences there. But I will tell you from the feeling of both, the Galaxy 55 is going to be an overall better feeling phone, I would say, than the Nothing Phone 2A. On top of that, there really isn't that big of a difference when it comes down to the feature set on the outside. Like, they're both kind of lacking the same things, and they're both lacking wireless charging, which is kind of another funny thing as well. So when it comes down to both of these from that side, it probably gets a thumbs up for me on the exterior. Like I said before, there's not like a crazy amount of things to kind of complain about here on the outside of both of these. Now on top of that, from the price tag standpoint, like I mentioned before, in the brand new market, the Galaxy 55 is a little bit more expensive, but I will probably tell you with the Nothing Phone 2A, this phone, although it is cheaper, and on Amazon, they're roughly around the same price. So it's not like you're going to be missing on it too much from the price tag standpoint because they're both going to be kind of around the same thing when it comes down to it. So I think that in of itself, you know, once again, is like another one of those things to kind of keep in mind here too. And again, it's not the biggest deal in the world when it comes down to it. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there. Now from the camera side of things, these two phones are also very, very interesting. So with the Nothing Phone 2A, this phone is giving you a dual camera setup on the backside, so a 50 megapixel wide and then a 50 megapixel ultra wide camera. Whereas on the Galaxy 55, you're getting a 50 megapixel wide, 12 megapixel ultra wide, then a 5 megapixel macro lens. So I will tell you in my personal opinion, starting with the Nothing Phone 2A, you know, this phone is a good camera. And I do think like if I'm going through and buying a camera, this thing isn't even that terrible. And I actually do like that a lot about this particular phone. As I've always stated, I think, you know, Samsung, you know, does a really good job with their phones, but you know, the Nothing Phone camera isn't terrible. It just so happens that it's just not as great as something like the Galaxy A55 camera. I feel like if I'm going through and purchasing one of these types of cameras, something like the Samsung Galaxy A55 is probably going to be the better one. And Samsung notoriously usually has the better cameras when it comes down to it. Usually if I'm going 
through and buying one of these types of cameras, the Nothing phones usually aren't going to be that comparable against the against the Samsung Galaxies, especially the iPhones, but especially with the Samsung Galaxies, these devices just usually aren't going to be that crazy. But I still think the Samsung Galaxy 55, you know, is still a good and a great camera for its price. But I don't think any one of these cameras are like amazing. Like I don't think either one of these are breaking records. And I think like if I'm in the market, if I'm going to go and buy a phone, I really don't think that either one of these phones are like the first phones I recommend the average person to buy when it comes down to getting the best camera bang for your buck, if that makes sense. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there as well. Now, in terms of the software and longevity, I'm not really too sure which phone's going to be the longer lasting one here. Like if I had to kind of estimate, I would hope that both these phones will last a long amount of time. I don't think the Nothing Phone company has had a long, like, you know, tenure yet for us to kind of, you know, be able to look at their past phones and be like, okay, this phone's going to last a long amount of time or whatever the case is. I, from what I can tell so far, that doesn't seem to be the case. And both these phones are going to be kind of, I would say, not the longest lasting phones that both these phone manufacturers are going to be making. If I had to kind of guess though, I would hope that the Nothing Phone would last for a long time. And I would hope for the Samsung Galaxy to last for a long time too. And I don't really think there's that big of a difference between these two just yet. But maybe in the future we'll see some differences. I guess we'll wait and see. But definitely when it comes down to both these phones, I definitely am a huge fan of them. And I guess we're just going to have to wait and see what happens here. But definitely when it comes down to both, I'm a big fan of both these devices. I think they mean a lot to me. But I would probably say that the Samsung Galaxy 55 is probably the one that might be lasting a little bit longer. At least I hope so. Because it's a very, very good phone when it comes down to it as well. From the performance side, both these phones are very, very good as well. So with the Nothing Phone 2A inside of it, you're basically getting that MediaTek Dimensity 7200 Pro chipset inside with 8 or 12 gigabytes of RAM, where the Galaxy A55 is giving you that Exynos 1480 chipset inside with 6, 8, or 12 gigabytes of RAM. So from that side too, you're also getting a very, very good amount of RAM and a good amount of power inside of these two devices as well. And that is something that's actually very nice. When you're going through and buying these types of devices, you're basically getting phones that hold up very well from that particular side, and that is actually something I love a lot about these particular phones. So you can easily go ahead and buy either one of these phones and have a very well-built phone with a lot of performance inside of it. As I mentioned before, that's really good stuff to have inside of these you know, types of devices too. If you're going through and picking up the Nothing Phone 2A, you're going to be getting a very good performing phone. And if you're going to be getting the Galaxy 55, you're also going to be getting a good performing phone too. From the base tiers, I mean, maybe you can make the argument that the Nothing Phone 2A is going to be better than the base you know, Galaxy 55, but even then, not the biggest deal in the world. And both the phones you know, kind of kill it in their own ways as well. So overall, what I'll definitely tell you is, I definitely am a huge fan of both these phones. And I do think Samsung did a really good job with the Galaxy 55. I think the Nothing Phone company did the best with the Nothing Phone 2A. I think if I had to pick up one, maybe it'd be the Galaxy 55 because it does have kind of more features in my personal opinion. But I think the Nothing Phone 2A is still a very good device too. And if you can swing that phone for a little bit cheaper, then you might as well go and buy that phone then for something like the Galaxy 55 in my personal opinion. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there too. Like I said, both these phones are very, very great. They have a lot of capability, a lot of quality. I don't know if there's one that's way better than the other one, but that's kind of how I see both these phones kind of comparing from that particular side. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, Solon.